I'm good. Okay. Um, but okay. So, so then, so if Eddie is doing the same thing, they get 40 to 50,000 people watching their mm-hmm. live at night. Mm-hmm. I mean, none of us is buying this poly relationship thing. What's mm-hmm. the end goal? What's so, the end goal? So think about it from like the perspective of marketing, right? Sean them dress up nice every night. They mm-hmm. live in a quote unquote penthouse. They have views of San Diego. They can see the stadium. He sells this lifestyle. Now the number one rule, the number one rule in marketing and selling a product, right? You sell a dream, you sell a goal, you sell something to the people. For instance, with cigarettes back in the day, they sold the cool guy getting all the women. It's, it's, it's virtually digital marketing at banks, right? So his right. end goal, and this is what he does, at least from what I've seen. And like I said, all my screenshots, it does piece together. What he initially, I want to say what he initially started with was Airbnb automation. Airbnb automation typically is a scam. You give somebody some money, they put it into an Airbnb of your choice. And mm-hmm. the Airbnb is supposed to make money and you make money back from the Airbnb virtually. But uh-huh. Airbnb is kind of a very risky you know, business deal. So if you don't make the money back, they still keep your initial ten thousand dollars that you gave them. Right. That's maybe where that may be where he initially started. He also did high ticket affiliate marketing. The reason why I know he does this is because the Eddie guy you just showed, and there's another mm-hmm. person in his testimonials, the guy driving a Lamborghini. Both of their accounts have high ticket um, affiliate marketing in their bios. He also follows a man called Dan Locke, who is quote unquote the godfather of high ticket affiliate marketing. That is where you draw people in, quote unquote, teach them a skill, make them pay for a course, and then they have to pull other people in. Similar to Forex and IML. It's very similar to Forex and IML. It's just more so focused on selling high ticket items like a refrigerator. They're supposed to be teaching you how to do this, but they don't teach you how to do it. They more so want you to get people to recruit and make residuals <laughs> off of everybody. Now where Olivia comes in is like the 2020, 2021 era. People think they met on LinkedIn. I don't think they met on LinkedIn. I think they I met either. through Shirley Lou. If you mm-hmm. look at Shirley Lou's actual history, she worked at First Financial Security. First Financial Security is a, a firm that sells insurance. Mm-hmm. That is also the same thing as like Mary Kay. Go sell insurance or makeup and we give you a percent, but you make more money doing residuals. That is right. who Olivia's quote unquote mentor is. I think they met through Shirley Lou when she was 17, because that's when Olivia became the mentee. It, and that's the funny it's thing. It's not so LinkedIn. Just, so let me let me loop some people in because if you guys are just joining and please tap the screen, you know, you know how we do protect the live. Tap, tap, tap. Um, here's what I've realized for those of you guys who are just coming in. So a TikToker who's also exposing them posted that these these photos. As you can see in the photos. This is a guy who goes by Eddie Garcia. He's on Instagram. You can go to his Instagram right now. You'll see that the layout, which is the home that they film, that Shanice and Sean film at, um, is the exact same home that this guy is sitting in. So just for reference, let me go through some of these photos so you guys can see. You see like the money, the the picture on the wall, the whole setup where Sean, where he's sitting, Sean sitting in that same setup. You see that skull mask right there. There's a uh, bookshelf in the background, as you can see here. Let me show you. It's just for so you could get a closer view. This is the same exact bookshelf that Sean is standing at. Now, Sean is trying to say this is like they're mentoring this person. And Eddie, as you guys can see, this is on Eddie's Instagram. Okay. Here is Olivia in the background of this. So it's very obvious that they're filming in the same location to basically get people to believe that they're this, this, you know, successful, you know, guru, but they're doing it under the guise of a poly couple because that's what brings the traction. That's what brings the views. They're not even, I've had somebody reach out to Sean for help and I've seen them reach out and Sean wasn't able to actually give them any kind of guidance because it's all just... A, a money-making scheme, but they get the views. Hmm. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> Go ahead and 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 um and I don't know. I I didn't get your name. What was your name or whatever name you want to use here, so I can call you instead of saying Maya's partner. <laughs> Smith. <laughs> Smith? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Smith. So, Smith, you've been watching this for a while. Olivia, and for those of you guys who didn't know, Olivia had... 
when Olivia was younger, she it, and I say younger, but she you know she's in her twenty. <laughs> she had yeah. a business um, called Two Cents, not mm-hmm. like cents like change, but cents like you know you're sensing something, yeah, and um, she stopped doing that. And that to me seemed very pyramid scheming. Oh, yeah, nice, yeah. I'll help you, honey. That seemed like a pyramid scheme to me. Uh, but go ahead. Now, now we're here with um, Smith picking up some of that, and, and they're explaining what they what they know. So go ahead. So two cents virtually was created underneath Shirley Lou, and it was virtually created around the same time that Sean was transitioning into the SBA loan seven A. Um, the main reason why. I started digging because they annoy me. I don't watch them that often, but I did hear key words that kind of stood out to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, the main issue I have is when he talks about the seven, uh, the SBA loan. There's a daddy, please. Go ahead. So the SBA loan seven eight. Virtually, that's a loan that you do that you get for starting a business, starting a startup, an initial business, or to buy a business acquisitions. Right. That's what it's for. Virtually, you do not need anybody to assist you getting that loan. But what Sean and Olivia do, they both do this, and I think Shirley does it as well, is they teach you how to get a business loan. And virtually, (laughs) what they ask for is a performance fee. This is on the page of another testimonial on this page. It's a guy that's sitting, if you guys want to look for it, it's a guy sitting in a chair. You click his page and you go to his link tree. It's going to take you to something called um, Blue Sky Enterprise, Blue Sky Enterprise (laughs) Credit. If you read the fine print, what he says is if we get you this loan, we want 10% back from the loan. Right. So if you take a business credit out and say you get a business credit for $100,000, Sean, Olivia, and the people that work with them are expecting 10% back. That's mm-hmm. $10,000 just off the SBA loan. Number one, you don't have to do that. This is the main reason why I'm doing this is you do not have to do that. You don't owe anybody money, but I'm assisting you in getting a credit, uh, a, a, a loan. Number mm-hmm. two, they are using what is known as in business what we do we leverage debt that is true they're not right about leveraging debt that is true right but what they're using is manipulative tactics to where they're saying hey man just use other people's money opm and you can do this right mm-hmm. and we can help you but we're still going to take a percentage but what they don't right. teach you is that the aftermath they leave you high and dry and you're the one that owes ninety thousand dollars to the bank So when I had talked to Olivia, one of the things I had asked her, she said that she had a team of people, but they don't get paid, but they kind of work under her. And it sounded like, you know, like kind of like how if you sell like Mary Kay or Mm -hmm. Avon or whatever you want to say, you sell it and then, but you, you look to recruit other people to send, to sell stuff. So you can get a percentage. Yeah. So you can get a percentage of what they sell. Is that similar to what they're doing? Yeah, they make residuals. So it's going to come in. The main things I know that he does is the SBA loan scam. It's going to be the um, SBA loan scam and then the Amazon automation scam. So virtually the people that work with them, they make money off of residuals. So think of like IML, right? Mm -hmm. When IML first came out, it was you pay $200 a month. Okay, cool. That's fine. But to take away that cost, if you bring people in, it pays for you $200 a month. So virtually it trickles down into a pyramid scheme. And that's what the high ticket affiliate marketing is like. That's what Sean is more involved in. With the SBA loan, that's more of a scam. Yeah. So Olivia most likely was lying about having people on her team. I don't believe she has people on her team. Oh, I don't. Be- well, when I was asking her, like, you know, about her team, she didn't know how many people she could Exactly. You know, she wasn't, you know, you could tell she wasn't certain about the numbers. So then my question then, as as they go on, it, I mean, do you believe that they're actually in a relationship? I do because I think Sean is, and I disclaimer, uh-huh. I'm not a psychiatrist, but I do think that he displays signs of narcissism, mm-hmm. and I think he manipulated the women into the relationship. So, like the live last night where she was like, "I didn't know that him and Shanice were serious." Well, I believe that because I think he met Olivia first. I think he met Olivia through Shirley Lou. I don't think LinkedIn played a factor at all because they would have showed screenshots. You can prove anything that you say with a simple, hey man, this is what I did. I don't think it was LinkedIn. I think he actually physically met her before Mm -hmm. he met Shanice. And I think Shanice was gone. He left a comment on um, on Shanice or on Olivia's Instagram. I want to say it's her Instagram that was dated in 2021. At the time of that comment, she would have been 17 
Um, and, and this is it from what I see. And she would have been 17 at the time. Um, and so there's no way he didn't know her first. Exactly. I don't think he waited until she was um, 20, until she until she graduated, because she graduated that that same year, turned 18. Um, I think he seriously waited. I do think that they're all in a relationship. I think um, Shanice is is very naive to what's going on, but I also think she's a part of it at the same time. I also wanted to add um, that that they both, all of them seem to be pushing this because uh, I think they are in a poly relationship, but I don't think they understand the full aspect of being in a poly relationship. But no. they want everyone to believe this because they want people to buy into their business model. I don't yes. I don't really think I mean to me they look like clowns. They look like I don't clowns. I don't even think that the seven queens thing is a real thing. I think he's no. selling the lifestyle. I think he's trying to get men to fall into the trap of I'm doing it, so can you. That's why he pushes that rags to riches story so much. All this is like virtually marketing to me. Like when I see it as an individual who is involved in the business world and I understand how marketing works, it's the way he talks in his narrative. I was homeless and I did this and I yeah. bounced back and I'm in a penthouse and I sleep with two beautiful women and I'm getting yes. all marketing. It's marketing. Yeah. And, and we find out if you didn't, if anybody has done any research or talked, um, his brother has, has come on the lives before and talked about this. Also, his if you watch any of Sean's interviews, any of these these news article write-ups, the, I read age, them all. the age to which he was adopted or put into foster care constantly changes. At first he was seven, then he was eight years old, then he was nine years old. He can't remember his story, his own, his own lies. Because he took them and made them his, his own because the story sells. His doesn't sell. No one cares about the person that had a silver spoon and they do well in life. No one wants to hear that. Mm -hmm. But they do want to hear, especially in our community, they yes. want to hear the person who was down in the trenches and they came up and now I'm bought. He took stories and made them his own. Right. That's what it right. sounds like is what he's done. He, he took that and from what I've seen, and I don't know if this is true or false, but he's the only one that's not adopted. But he took yes. the adoption story because it sells. Yes, and that's what- Sorrow sells. When you look at them, when they're always filming in the same location, none of that stuff is theirs in that apartment. If you notice, always they're drinking out of tumblers, they're drinking out of, um, eating out of prep. Mm -hmm. Uh, because they don't actually sit there and cook. If they did, they would have to actually clean up behind themselves before the actual, actual people be up in there. They, mm -hmm. don't, if you can see, they never really are. They, it doesn't even feel like a home environment. And, and that, and that's, and that's what. That's why I'm telling people like now, like y'all have to read between the fine print. Like a lot of people get online and they ask them the wrong questions, but look at this from the perspective of an individual who does business because sean does business i'm not going to take away from the simple fact that he was smart enough to come up with this point he was and people play into it every single day right the more people that play into it the more people who sit there and say i'm gonna join his live because it's so entertaining it's so interesting we forget that every single day he stops for his little ass to say dm me yeah it's so yeah. consistent that you have to notice that he is literally digitally marketing to 40,000 people. If you watch his behavior, he watches the number of people that join his live. He comments on how many people join it. They talk about how many likes. You know, the more likes you get, the more your live is pushed out. Right. You know this, all these things happen. So they're, they're making money from people who come in who are naive enough to believe this man has it all together. I want to be like him. He showcases the money. I made 159K in 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Somebody that has nothing is going to see that and be like, I want to be just like him. That's Ooh, how those exactly. work. Exactly, because we, and, and in essence, you know, he's not trying to appeal. You guys have to also think about this. With that rags to riches story, that's only going to appeal people who, who are like us, who didn't really grow up with exactly. money. Exactly. You know, that's always going to appeal a certain type of people. And, and that's why he has to push that. If you watch his podcast or the podcast that he's been on, if you watch um, the news, read the news articles that he's been in and all of this, that I think he actually paid to be placed in those because those yes. aren't actual reputable news sources. Like these aren't people, this isn't like, he didn't get a write up from like Yahoo News or, you nope. know, 
at any of these major publications. You know, what about the 700 credit score? Somebody had emailed him about their credit score. He can't help with credit scores and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why I want people to be, I want people to understand that in a way what I think Olivia and, and Shanice gets out of this is they're building their portfolio up. They're building their influencer status yes. up. And it's and I and I have to give it to them. It's working. It, it I, works. It, it, it works one hundred percent. It works, and I think people people are are caught up in the whole entertainment vibe, and it's like it's not that serious. But in reality, it is because people are going to fall into the ploy. Mm-hmm. He started something that genuinely works. It's how everyday advertisement works. We go in and buy stuff that we don't need because we saw it. Right. Right. That's how it works. He's virtually selling you the dream, and he you go out and be like, oh yeah, I want to do the same thing. I want to do the same as that. I want to live the same way. That's why I said it, it's it's kind of like shop marketing. It's, it's controversy. That's what right. he's pushing out. He does things and he sa- he says it. He leaves breadcrumbs, which is why I caught it. I want right. to be the most controversial man. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, and, and he's very successful at, at, at it. If you look at it, I mean, 40,000, 50,000 on average, he or he. He probably they probably have thirty thousand people watching a night mm-hmm. just to get on, uh, just to get on live. Somebody said add add a vic add the victim. I don't know who you guys are talking about. There's a victim. There's a scam victim. Wait, hold on, you guys. There's a victim of the snapping turtle in here. Okay, who is it? And because I don't see the person. There's nobody in who's sending. Nobody has sent a guest request. Okay, nobody has sent a guest request. So at the end of the day, these this is what's going on. Just so you guys can see, it's very obvious that Sean, this guy here, he has the same house set up. He's basically just like Sean. The only thing he didn't do is get on live and go to TikTok with it and say that he has, you know, 3,000 or and say he has two women with him. Yes, yes, facts. And it, it's... What, what, what is the, um, I'm trying to think, um, what is the, the aftermath? Oh, is it the SBA, the SBA and the Amazon automation? Oh yes. Oh yes. So, um, virtually I have the video of the free game he sent. It's unlisted. I ever, like I said, he leaves breadcrumbs. When he says you got to look at his testimonies, just go to these people's pages. They post everything but he left the video to the free game the link mm-hmm. to it up so it's unlisted but i have the videos just unlisted in the video he verifies everything that i'm saying he verifies all of it this is before i had seen the video i knew exactly what he was doing but he verifies it he says hey i want y'all to learn about opm other people's money yeah okay, cool i want y'all to learn about amazon automation and he says exactly what he does with Amazon Automation. An Amazon automated store costs, for them, costs 50 to 80K. That's far, it does not cost that much to make an automated store. But for them, it's 50 to 80K. What he does is, he's gonna get you to do an SBA 7A loan. You get that loan for 100K. Off that, he gets 10K. He's just pocketed $10,000, you have 90K. He's gonna tell you, I'm gonna refer you to one of my people. You go to one of these people, they charge you $75,000. Virtually, he's still gonna get a percentage because you went to one of his people. Right. They're going to keep the majority of the money and then give you a quote unquote automated store. This is how he sells it though, right? A lot of times when he says free game, I know people see this. They say, he says, uh, go get a storage unit. You can turn that into a million dollars. The moment you begin to work with him, this is this is keywords to make you comfortable. We, they do it in, we do it in business all the time. He's just taking it to a different level. Mm-hmm. The keywords, I know what I'm talking about. Listen to me. Get a storage unit. It's going to make you money, right? Okay, cool. When By the time you work with him, he's going to say, well, storage unit is too high risk. Let's do Amazon automation because in three years, you can sell it for $300,000, $500,000. doesn't work like that. You're going to lose $90,000 and they're going to all walk away with your money. Right. That's how it works. That's how Amazon automation, everything selling you do, that's exactly how it works. He makes money twice off you, initially from the loan and then secondly from the person he referred you to. The same way he has the girl that he's like, I can refer you to whoever that is that's in Florida, Kayla in Florida. Mm-hmm. Anybody that comes to her from him and you pay her, they're going to pay Sean. That right. person is still going to send money back to Sean. It is a loophole of people working together. That's why when Olivia's talking about her mentor, Shirley Lou, she is not innocent. She is part of this whole thing. 
Oh, I know. We all Olivia. work together. I know, uh, listen, I I know Olivia is not innocent in this. I, I, and I don't think like I said I don't think Shanice is innocent in this as well. I I honestly think like she got into it through all of this, but I don't think that she's innocent as well. I do believe he met Olivia prior to. I swear to God, every everything in my house want to be loud when I get on live. My dog <laughs> found a bone and want to be like oh, freezing. Uh, but that that doesn't surprise me at all. You know what I'm saying? So I, I guess what my whole thing is: how do we how do we protect people from this? Because they get because at time there was a time when he would have his phone number um, on his displayed, uh, not his actual but a phone number, which mm-hmm. I know was a number to get you to fill out some documents and get you all so called set up with his stuff. And 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 what I mean, what do you do? I mean, he has it's like he has. He only they only allow people on their live for a little bit. Yes, I saw that you guys were saying Eddie is in the testimonials. Um, and I mean, what what do you really do? Because right now they get forty thousand people in their live. What can you actually do to combat something like this? And that's the hard part, and why I wanted to at least reach out to as many people as possible. I discovered all this yesterday at like five o'clock when I just started digging, and I was like, well, how do I get it out? Because I'm not privy to being like in the camera but i do know i got information i want to spread it how do i spread it who do i talk to i thought of aunt karen i thought of um a lady that's like that spoke on the chat a few other people who have these these uh platforms where they can say hey you guys it's all entertainment treat it as entertainment do not do business with your people this is their actual history and it's not like like it's not like my evidence that i have is just this little bit of screenshot no i took my time going through it i start with shirley lou and work my way all the way down so right. somebody watching it or somebody watching a video if i made a video of it you're gonna know okay this is a lot of information i'm probably not gonna do business with this person but that's better than me not saying anything and the only thing the only disclaimer i can put in is i have not tied shanice in any way to any of this at the moment I really, I don't tie Shanice. And so here's the thing. I truly believe that Shanice was in a relationship with him first. I believe he met Olivia first, but him and Shanice were in a relationship. She, she, um, Olivia came of age. She was, you know, and uh, became an adult. Um, and she was already doing her, doing, doing her own little, little, you know, to me, in my opinion, pyramid scheme. Those two linked up. He introduced. So I do believe that all three of them are in a poly relationship. I yes. don't think they fully understand a poly relationship, but I believe in her mind, she is still she is still as guilty because you are helping him push out this narrative, knowing that this house, that this apartment that y'all's penthouse y'all sitting in is staged. Is yes. somebody else's Airbnb. So because she's sitting there, she is just as at fault for anybody that falls into their scheme she's just as at fault because you could easily say you know what this whole shit is a scam this whole shit is a lie i Mm -hmm. did this i did that you know what i'm wrong she could easily say that and shanice doesn't say that because for whatever reason she's in love with this fool i don't know why (laughs) but for whatever reason she's in love with him so she you are an accessory to people getting scammed so just for those of you who are just joining in um another tiktoker uh tiktoker had made a video with all of these photos to show that this place that sean is in um used to this guy here eddie used to film in the same thing basically saying that he's a oh he you know he does the same thing as sean he knows sean and it's very interesting that they're filming in the same spot and sean trying to make us believe that this is his home when obviously if you guys look at the bookshelf you could tell not a book is out of place the books are look the books are still stacked up same (laughs) statue perfect perfect you know what i'm saying um perfect look the the artwork let me move my head the artwork same placement everywhere the computer you see that little mask that little um i don't know if that's like a viking mask or whatever you know what i'm talking about little mask right there this is nothing but a st- same place same placement and that, that's literal that's didn't even literal. try to rearrange didn't even try to rearrange the furniture that is literally just the epitome of 
this is the lifestyle that we live selling the lifestyle getting people to buy your courses and it's it's insane because it does work but like it's not been it's not like it's not been done before that's right. why it's so easy to catch is that it's been done before it was done when IML came out it was done when Mary Kay came out it was done with a lot of different MLMs that eventually went belly up because the pyramid scheme got exposed it's mm. been done before but it's very easy to catch on after a while because Sean always showcases himself looking a certain way oh I have red bottoms on like the picture you have up now I got red bottoms I got suits my suits are always fresh I got ties he dresses up for live he kind of does a little bit with Shanice and Olivia, but the focal point is himself. And that's why every night, if you notice, all my guys DM me. Right. He's playing it. He's playing it perfectly. He wants the men to hit him up. Right. And as people are pointing out in the comments, it definitely seems like a content house. This was just in July of last year that the the other guy had posted. So you, you can't tell me that this other guy posted in July and he has all these photos up. And, and you know what I mean? He's been talking about this penthouse that he has and all of that. So, yes, it's basically a content creator home. They are not actually staying there and living in that house. And that's what I this is what bothers me about Shanice, really, because, like I said, Shanice is older than Olivia. Olivia, I give uh, Olivia is just as much as a scammer, in my opinion, as Sean. Yes. But yes. Olivia, Shanice is older. She's like, what, 29, 30? you are you are older than than olivia you should know better you are doing you are allowing other people to believe this man is financially wealthy enough to support you you both of you and all of this other stuff and this is a basically a content creator home yes i can believe that because he's not the only they have so many people that are in the house i'm sorry as a professional and a consultant myself i have never met a client in my house I just, mm -hmm. just not something that I do, but it seems if it's a content house and open to everyone, it makes sense for them to all be there. I just don't, I, me seeing it from my perspective, I'm not allowing my clients, unless we're on a very, very personal level, to walk into my home where women live at. Mm -hmm. That doesn't seem smart in any way, shape or form. Not with two women living at, I'm sorry. Two <laughs> women living at, but you have random men that come to your house all the time. You but post your address publicly all the time. But, and it doesn't, it's, hold on, somebody says, Aunt Karen, go to YouTube and play the video on live. I don't, Yolanda, I can't even click that in here because I'm on live right now. So there's no way for me to click that link. Um, but that's what, that's what really it upsets me is that this is all stage, as you can tell. Look at look at his surroundings. Obviously, he takes this photo to show you that he got some red bottoms on. This entire thing is is a persona, and that's what really gets me with people is that even though they're getting forty to fifty thousand people to watch them at night, listen, how many times can people call them out on their stuff? My fear is the people that are going to believe this man yes. and women that are sitting here co-conspirators he's just sitting here nodding along letting people do this and that's the problem it, 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 y'all relationship can be our relationship you get caught for grooming whatever the case you go to jail that's on y'all right. but it's more so about the people that Even didn't they didn't consent to being involved in what you're doing Right. And, 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 and my problem is, you know, you're trying to go, oh, this is, you know, this is what this is, you know, you're trying to sell everybody that a poly relationship is where to go. And listen, you taking care of two people, you better have the money to take care of two people. But you're trying to make us feel like you got the money when clearly, in my opinion, you don't. You, you filming in a content house. Exactly. So that that's that 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 has been my whole purpose is just so because there's a lot of global people. I know people in the comments are like, nobody's gonna believe it, but that's not how it works. It's just because we don't believe it, and you're smart enough to believe it. Not everyone is as um, in, in intellectually inclined to understand when they're being scammed or sold a lie. That's why scams exist because people fall for them every day. That's how it works. And you guys have you guys also have to understand the men who are watching him these are not men who and i mean and people in general these are not people who are able to fully understand what he's doing these are probably lonely men 
who mm-hmm. think, oh, I can get two women and I could just and show them how successful I am. This is not, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I said the dangers of it. It's it's like with with men who are like incels, the danger of yes. pedophiles who incel men who cannot get a woman, who they feel like they can't get a woman, is this kind of rhetoric. They feel like, oh, I'm going, I can just do this and I will get a woman and I just have to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I think is very, very important.